Okay, hi dreamers, how are you doing? Um, I am sitting here with you today um, because I obviously feel the need to address everything and I feel the need that there is no time for much laughter or funny videos or other topics to talk about um, because this is the most relevant uh, prevalent it's it's the most prevalent information and we need to talk about it and I need to kind of put all in one video kind of all the things that I've seen and it's going to take a longer conversation it's going to take uh, more than just one video but this video is mainly to talk about the basics some of my small thoughts and then really at the end is what I want you guys to stick around for at the end I'm going to post a bunch of photos. I need you to pause the video, go through every photo that I put on, and I need you to do whatever it says. Uh, whether that be texting Floyd to 55156, five, I'm pretty sure is the number, um, or texting Justice to the other one. Now, let me start uh, by saying, hi, hello. I am white. <laughs> I very much have white privilege. And I have been mainly aware of that my entire life. And I also have been blessed, which is a whole different thing from being uh, uh, white privileged. But I felt it and I know that it's, I'm never gonna understand the 100% the capacity of being a black person in America. I can't, I can't say that and it's sad um, because people still see color as bad. Uh, they see black people and they get shot on the street. They get shot in their own apartment or they get knelt on by a white cop. Um, so let's talk about that. Um, so I have white privilege, but I'm using my platform because I want to speak out and I've put it on TikToks, I've kind of put it in conversation, and all of the pictures that you've seen, I have only not done a couple of the things um, that just came up on my feed yesterday or today um, about, uh, there's a UCF professor that I would love to get fired, so I am going to email the school and I go to UCF. He is an awful human being who does not believe that. Uh, Blacks are oppressed in the United States, which is a really sad thing. So, um, it's more than sad. It's such an understatement. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be sad. Uh, I was sad for a while. I had panic attacks. I cried over the entire situation of George Floyd. And uh, I'm just upset at this point. I am irate. I am angry. I am mad. I am passionate. Whatever you want to call it, that is what I am. I have been texting, emailing, calling uh signing petitions the only thing that i cannot do at this moment is donate because um i i am moving and i do need the money um to be able to sustain myself because i'm going to be very low income when i move um which is coming it's an exci exciting nervous journey for my life and i want to show you guys but again this is the more prevalent information one other thing that i've been doing i don't have very much time to make this video either because i'm going to one tomorrow and I'm going to one today, but I went protesting and it was beautiful, it was eye-opening, it was captivating, and it was very uncomfortable in all of the good and right situations. Now I live in Orlando. Um, now there's also a call on Buddy Dwyer, which is another photo that you guys are gonna see. Um, to put in effect and you guys can call your own mayors email your own mayors the mayor's office the city hall um you guys can get these eight uh i don't know what they're calling it i i i read it but i forgot what it's called and i and i was going to read them off to you but i have to use my phone to make the video and it just wasn't working you know what i mean so um i am going to show that and you guys can call buddy dwyer and get these eight reforms, maybe, or whatever it is, or the eight steps reformed um, into action. So let's talk about George Floyd. Um, 
we all know what happened. I like I said, a white cop knelt on George Floyd's neck for I believe it was eight minutes and forty six seconds, and now the country is angry. We we mourn. We are still mourning, but we're mad because we are going to make change. Now it's been eight days of protests. We have gotten the one cop arrested, charged, upgraded his charge, and the case is still continuing to where he's gonna go from third, second, and hopefully he's gonna get first degree murder. The other ones got aiding and abetting, but I'm hoping that we can still push and get a more aggressive sentence because they're cops and there was something else on that, but I don't remember what it was. So I apologize for the lack of information that I'm gonna blank on, but there's so much running through my head that I would like to talk about. So we're just basically needing to upgrade that charge. There are three cops. I don't know their names either. Um, I'll probably put them on the screen right here. There are three cops that shot into the apartment of Breonna Taylor that have still not been charged. We will not stop right at this basis. This isn't about one cop. This is not about one cop. This is not about one man, one black man. We are talking about the black community as a whole, and we will make change. We're not stopping at four men being charged uh, because they decided to just sit there and the one decided to murder a man in cold blood. We're not stopping there. We have to get justice for Brianna. We have to get justice for Ahmad and everyone that came before that. We have to not only try and help the past, we have to do what we can right now, emailing, calling, texting, all of that jazz in the present so that we can fix the future. Now, what does this mean? We need to educate ourselves. And I have been, it's been constant. That's why I'm saying there's so much going in my mind. It has been constant of what I've been seeing. And we need to understand that it's gonna take a lot, but we're here for it. I'm here for it and I'm not going to stop until change is made. But one of the biggest things that we can do and everybody knows it is we can vote. Now, obviously we've seen that no longer is Trump gonna be in office because that is not going to happen. This country will not let it happen. It's not gonna happen. Sorry, not sorry. And yeah, so Trump is not gonna be in office uh, because we're gonna vote him out. Uh, however, we do need to educate ourselves on who is going to be president, who is going to be vice president, who is going to be um, the leftover, like Senate chairs, Congress, all of that. If you didn't take care about politics before, please start caring about it now. And I say this to everyone, if you are under the age of 18, start now. I wish I would have, I wish, that is the one thing I wish, I wish I would have started doing research on people now, or, or before, because your voice, no matter what, ha matters. People equal uh, a number. The more people that go out to pro, I mean, not like that, not, I'm not saying in a rude way, but I just mean in the, in the statistics of protesting, for example, the more numbers that we have, the better chance of making a change. The more people that call the number, the more we're gonna make the change. The more people that speak up, the more we're gonna make the change. So regardless, people out there that are protesting don't know how old you are, nor do they care. You're there to make your voice heard. So if you're 13, if you're 14, and you're allowed to go to a protest, go. I've seen five-year-olds at these protests, which is if you don't believe in this Black Lives Matter movement, what is wrong with you? That is sad. It is sad. Um, now, again, this video is kind of all over the place and I'd like to do a more structured video, but here's the things that are going on. So it's been eight days of protests and we've made change. We are still pushing for change. We are gonna get change, social change. We're going to change the police force because it is absolutely ridiculous and it's nuts. So I wanted to also talk about this and we've seen it everywhere, but there are some people that I think that are on TikTok that watch my YouTube channel. So if, if that's the case, hey, if you aren't on TikTok at all, you haven't seen this probably yet. Well, that's not true. You might have seen it on Facebook, Twitter, but I want to say it here. And I know it's kind of repetitive and annoying for me at this point, but I want to share it here all lives do not matter 
until Black Lives Matter. Nobody said when we say Black Lives Matter, do white people's lives don't matter, or Asian lives don't matter, or uh, Pacific Islanders do not matter. That is not what we said. But Black is part of all, and until Black Lives Matter, which they don't, at this current state of our country, with a, mind you, a dictator sitting on the throne, using tear gas, which is illegal in war, and shutting off the lights when it should have been Pride Month and he should have been turning them on, and hiding in a bunker and holding a Bible that he doesn't believe in, we need Black Lives to Matter before all lives can matter. We all want to say that. That is the end goal. But don't take it from your mouth until it actually happens, okay? Um, so again, Black Lives Matter, all of that jazz. Here's the thing, if you are going to go protest, be careful, bring sunglasses, don't wear contact lenses. Um, if you're in a warmer state, remember it is still summer. Um, so please wear sunscreen if you burn so you can be out there longer. I don't want you being sunburned because that is also another awful thing. We also don't want you getting sun damage or cancer. Wear a mask or try to wear a mask. If you can, it's not really social distancing at all. Um, there is a pandemic and it sucks and uh, I am an advocate of people staying inside. If you want to go outside, the only thing you should be doing is protesting at this point. I mean, we are opening states, but it's still rough. It is still rough out there, but this is more important. Black Lives Matter are, is more important. So if you want to go protest, that is fine. It's not going to be social distance regardless if they say or not it is a march we're standing right next to each other the best we can do is wear a mask and even then if we're so close together it's not going to really work but wear a mask it can still protect people um bring water bring food if you are in a florida state or if you're in a state like florida where it's also getting to three o'clock storm time bring some umbrellas because all of them are pretty much in the afternoon that i've seen and be careful please be careful if you go protest um i am doing that as well if you can please go with someone if you can't go alone meet someone there please be an outgoing person if you're going to a protest um if you're an introvert i'm not saying you can't go i just mean like i want you to be safe as possible if you look on your local instagram or, or people in your local area on instagram or twitter or whatnot a lot of them are posting uh numbers that you can call pro bono cases that will get you out of jail uh, so yeah, there's that. There's one thing that I want to say, and I posted this on my TikTok, and I got some mixed, some mixed opinions about it, but I am very solid in this belief, and, uh, let me just say this. We are not there to riot. We are not there to loot. And I don't mean white people. I don't mean black people. I mean the protesters, the peaceful protesters who are there to make change are not there to loot and are not there to riot. We're there to protest. The looting is coming, A, at night, and B, from white supremacists. I mean, I've seen it during the day. It, it can happen during the day. But it's mostly occurring from people who are taking advantage of the protests and the undercover cops and the white supremacists. So please, do not. And the worst that we're doing is tagging. I'm not tagging, I haven't tagged anything, I don't have like graffiti or, but the worst that people are doing is tagging. And even then, the people who are tagging are going back in the morning and they're cleaning it up. Um, so there's that. But yeah, it's, it's a captivating and uncomfortable experience in all the best ways. So if you can go, please go you are making the biggest difference. And if you can't go, donate, call, text, email. I will keep saying it until the day I die. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully until the day that this freaking changes. Um, so there's that. So I'm just like kind of going to list through my head. I talked about white privilege. Y'all, use your white privilege. I've seen a video on TikTok where um, I think it was, I. there's so many cities they're all doing it so it could have been Chicago or Philly or Pittsburgh but there were a line of police officers nope that's not true it was New York City it was in front of the Trump Tower there was a line of police officers 
and the black people were up front. They started beating with batons and someone ran back to the back and said, all the white people go to the front, all the white people went to the front and it stopped. Just let that sink in for a moment. So use your white privilege, not tomorrow, not the next day, starting right now, starting today, use your white privilege because you will most likely the worst that's going to happen to you is be arrested, not murdered. Let that sink in. You will be arrested, not murdered. And there are so many people helping people who are getting arrested right now. You should be fine. So yeah, white privilege, black lives matter, not all lives matter. George Floyd, may he rest in peace. Ahmaud Arbery, may he rest in peace. Breonna Taylor, may she rest in peace. If you don't know those names, look it up. Seriously, there are people still out there that don't know these names, that don't know that this is going on. I'm dead serious. Oh, last thing that I will say before I post these photos at the end. What you see on the news can be skewed. Listen to that. The things that you see on the news can be skewed. It is called propaganda. Once a police officer kneels and takes a photo with a black person, they post it on the news. Next thing you know, they're being gunned down by rubber bullets. They're being sprayed with mace. They're being tear gassed, pepper spray, beat with batons. Anything that you can think of, they are doing. That is called propaganda. Watch out for the news sources that you are coming, uh, that you are looking at. Now, as weird as it may seem, TikTok and Twitter and even Facebook at this point have the stories that I know that are true. I can spot fake news since the day that I stopped watching the news because I thought the news was stupid. And it still is because they're still using propaganda, but that is what we need to look at. We need to look at the people who, who have seen it with their eyes and we can trust them and we've seen the videos. Videos don't lie. More than likely, videos don't lie. Um, and I don't mean, I don't mean videos of people talking, I mean physical videos. They can be fabricated, but the majority of them, ha they, they're just real. And I just know that because it would take a lot for someone to just sit there and edit a video of realistic people. You know what I mean? Um, so there's that. Um, that is all I have for today. Again, I'd like to do a structured video on other things and, um, other things about Black Lives. Um, them obviously again being more susceptible to police brutality and uh, the gun violence by cops in terms of uh, black people and or more things that aren't exactly associated with it. We are fighting for equal rights, but nobody's really saying at the moment that black people still earn less, which they do. Um, and I want to talk about that, but that's not, that is still part of Black Lives Matter obviously, um, because we're fighting for equal rights. And I'm sure at some point we'll get there, but right now the in the injustice, um, racist police force is what we're dealing with right now. That is the big focus. And uh, lastly, before I go, again, educate, then vote. Don't vote, then educate. Do not vote for the familiar name. When that ballot came out four years ago, you saw Donald Trump because the name was everywhere and that's who you voted for. Um, so make sure, educate, and vote. Thank you guys for listening. I hope I said everything as correctly as I could. If I didn't, I apologize. If I missed something, I apologize. None of this was meant to offend anyone. If I did, I'm, I am so sorry. Um, I just know a lot of information right now, but it's not going to come out correctly because there's so much of it. I have been seeing news all over the place. I kid you not. I can't focus on homework or anything else because it's all I've been doing. Um, so I'm going to go protest. Uh, no justice, no peace. Black Lives Matter. Stay, please, for all of the information that is about to show up on the screen. You need it. You're going to want it. Call, text, email, protest. Please and thank you. Stay safe.